to hear from the Motion Picture League of their own, and also the Jesus and Mary train will be out later. I don't want to tell you how to do your business, and this really is not what this is about. I, I just want to make a suggestion. I've seen your television show for five years. I've been to many of your live super stunt shows at various uh, uh, fairgrounds and malls around the United States. I can't help but notice that when you begin to attempt a very dangerous super, super stunt, the crowd, usually spurred on by kids, will begin chanting, soup, soup, soup. I'm thinking to myself, how about a tie-in with the Campbells or Lipton's people? Soup, soup, soup. Where you become like the, the super soup hero for Campbell's can, can or Lipton's. Can we just talk about the book? Can we just push the book? It's, uh... <laughs> But you see what I'm driving at? Yeah, you could be the American... Well, I really don't want to talk about You could be the American that. soup yeah. hero. Well, they really chant is Super Dave, so that really doesn't work. Yeah, but if they could shorten it to soup, 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 and then you come out, say, like riding in a big That's flying a saucer idea. full of tomato soup. That's a great idea. Uh, the book is called Letters from Seniors to uh, Super Dave. Dave, tell us about this. It's a well, delicious this is, idea. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> As I go around the country, seniors come, as, you, uh, when, as you've been to my jumps and things yeah. like that, they're always there, right? Yeah. We always give them the best seats and everything else. And uh, they started writing me letters. Uh, this is the first book that I haven't really edited and written myself. Mm -hmm. My staff put this well, together. You're a very busy man. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's a sensational compilation of letters. And if you read it, and read it as an old person. Are these actual the, photos of folks who have written in some of those people? Well, that's nice that they, you know, they write in a letter and they get to be on the cover yeah, of the book. Those yeah. are the first 11. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we got time, I'd like to do a, a letter for you to show you what it's like. Soup. Uh, I'll soup, pick, soup, <laughs> soup. 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 I'll just pick one out that I haven't read before. And uh, again, I don't do a very good old person. But if you put yourself into this and try to read it as an old person, you'll really enjoy it. Um, this is a letter about a 84-year-old man. Oh, that's sweet. That's named nice. Named Ed Michaels. Uh -huh. And, uh, turns out Ed was tired of living his, in his apartment alone, so he wanted to move into a senior citizen's home. So he looked in the classified and saw brand new senior citizen's home, totally naked. So he put, well, wow. got out the ad and went over there. It's a naked facility? Absolutely. Is and he said, excuse me. Is this a totally naked uh, senior citizen's home? And the man says, yes, it is. He said, well, I'd love to see what it's like. He said, well, I'll tell you what. The reason we're doing this is to give a senior alternative. Later on in life, uh, they don't have to worry about what, what they wear. And also, it might be a nice change. So they said, if you would like to see this, simply give us your clothes. We'll put it in the locker. You can walk around the lobby. You can get a sandwich. You can go up and, sh and look at the room. So the old man takes off his clothes, they put it in the locker, he walks around the lobby, goes in and gets a sandwich, then he goes upstairs. He's walking down the hall, and he comes to a door and opens it up and looks in, and it's gorgeous. New carpets, new drapes, new bedding, it's beautiful. And there is a gorgeous maid making up the bed, and she's naked. So he walks in, starts talking to her, and lo and behold, the next thing you know, they're making love. They, they finish... The old man gets up and starts walking to the door and he falls down on his hands and knees. All of a sudden, a male orderly walks by naked and... I can't go on with this. <laughs> what do you mean? What? What? <laughs> I didn't read this before. Yeah, right? what is... I don't know. What... what happens? What... can you just... The male orderly walks by naked, sees the old man on his hands and knees, and falls madly in love. <laughs> After they finish, the old man... <laughs> you know, I, I thought he was just going up there to get a sandwich. Isn't that what you said in the, in the beginning of it? I don't know. I didn't read this letter. Oh, yeah. After they finished, the old man got up, stumbled downstairs, and came to the uh, desk. He said, I'd like my clothes back, please. Uh. <laughs> and they said, why, sir, is there a problem? He says, yes, it's a big problem. You see, at my age, I get sexually excited maybe once a month, once every six months. Unfortunately, I tend to fall down three times a day. <laughs> wow, all here in the book. <laughs> you want to uh, give some more thought to that soup thing, Dave?
Uh, we have some more videotape. Let's see some more videotape. Oh, I, I love the stunts. Those stunts. Those I love the big exciting dramatic wait stunts that you do wait there at the second. compound. What I was doing is, as you know, I, I was working with the uh, North American Society to get rid of oil wells. Uh -huh. And uh, I to had... Save the planet. Yes, and I had a Geiger car that I developed. And uh, what happened was, it's a, it's a special car that goes over the land, and it can tell, uh, with a computer on board, what's going on. You don't have to drill anymore. Uh -huh. And uh, we demonstrated it, but we had a big problem. Let's see the tape. No, well, I don't video. the tape. What's the matter with the tape? There is a big problem with the tape. So yeah. I don't really want to show it. No, let's take a look at this. I don't think we want to see the tape. Good, good. <laughs> Wouldn't a nice big steaming mug of chicken soup hit the spot about now? Uh, hey, go ahead and roll that videotape. Let's take a look at the Geiger car here with uh, Super Dave. Basically, I've got no oil anywhere in this area. Is that correct? That's what I'm getting on the readout, yeah. Okay, you've got 200. You should have white to light brown massive sandstone. Yeah, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting the sandstone. I'm getting a, a mineral deposit of some kind here. All right, bring it up more to the surface, please. Okay, going up to the surface. 180, you should have some Oxnard Aquifier in there. The, I'm getting Aquifier showing up. I'm getting uh, I'm getting another readout, a little less than right, 180. Let me bring it right up to the surface, please. Okay, we're going right, right up I'm now. I'm getting some kind of an iron ore deposit. I'm getting the same thing. Uh, give me a second, Super. It's coming out. We're getting a readout now. Is it a metal or something? Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? Train tracks. Train tracks? Double check that. I'm going to back up. gentlemen, the greatest living super stunt daredevil of our time, Super Dave Osborne. Dave?